Oh, I need a haircut, hey? It's driving me nuts. I don't have time to cut my hair. Um, okay, so today uh, we're still going to be doing a little bit of Halloween. Um, so we're going to paint a ghost, a cat, and a pumpkin. And we're going to have a lot of fun. I am doing mine on paper. You guys can do yours on canvas. But I am saving canvas, so I'm doing my paper. Here we go. Ready? Get you guys all in shape. Paint it vertical, don't paint it vertical. It's up to you however you want it, but I'm gonna have a ghost here with a pumpkin and then the crazy cat over there. Uh, maybe a little spider web in the corner. Um, so we're gonna get started by getting our canvas wet. Um, I'm gonna do it, my paper wet. I'm just doing it on paper. If you wanna save time and you haven't seen me do this on paper yet, this is just a sketch pad from the dollar store. All my paintings are in here because A, I can't keep hanging these things on my wall. So we're going to do just like a smoky kind of a background. So basically it's just watered down black. So taking some of my black, I need to tell you, black, yellow, red, tiny bit of blue because we're just doing cat eyes and we're going to make them green and some white. So put some water in there. And we'll see what's going to happen with this. So I'm not even going to do the whole edge. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. If you wanted to make this a little bit gray, you can add a little bit of white into that. How about that? Let's see what that looks like. Oh, yeah. Just needs a bit more black because I can't see it. I don't want it to be dark because um, I want to be able to see my cat. So I'm just kind of pushing this around. Don't, I'm not doing the edges on purpose because I want it to look like that. So I'm just pushing that wet black around. So, oh, look at that, yeah. messy. You know me, I should have named my, my uh, company Messy Canvas. Instead of Empty Canvas, should have been Messy Canvas. That kind of suits me a little bit better. <laughs> Alrighty, so next, starting, I don't know if this is going to show. We are going to make the ghost. I'm hoping you guys can see it. Maybe I'll outline them in black. I'm going to take my little brush and I'm just going to go into the black. Maybe I'll outline everything. So yeah, let's outline everything. So starting in the front, I'm going to um, put the brush down there. I'm going to start with my pumpkin. So. Let's say that there is, oh, we'll start here. Uh, it's going to be sort of a squishier pumpkin. Again, pumpkins, you know, they come in different sizes. So there's my middle chunk. I'm going to take a second chunk. I'm going to go around like that. It's going to be one of those squishy pumpkins, you know, those like flatter ones. I'm going to adjust this. I'm painting sideways weirdly, so it's not really suiting me very well. So I like this here, round, and then this one's round. That's a little weird over there, but I can fix that with paint. And then maybe just a little more over here. Maybe I want it to be just a really wide pumpkin. Maybe this is not quite the piece I want. Black is not really the color to start doing this with. Just saying it's gonna interfere. And also, it's gonna interfere with my oranges. But it's okay. While we're going there, you might as well put this little stem right in your center so it comes up a little bit, sort of like a triangle in the center. It's okay that a part of it's you know coming into your pumpkin like that. And then let's give it make, make it cricky. Like this. Oh, I like that. I just wiggled my brush a little bit and made like a crooky stem. Love that. Okay, back to the ghost now. Now I'm going to like put the ghost up behind him and real simple. Round, round head. The dog trying to get in here. 
There's the ghost. And he realizes that the door's locked and he can't come in. Ghost. Doesn't matter what shape you got there. I'm going to get the cat later. Get the cat later. Let's um, see there's a floor here where it's sitting. So it's if you're going to put the floor in, don't put it right at the bottom of your pumpkin because that will always look weird like it's just sort of suspended sitting there. Always go up a little bit so it's looking like it's actually sitting on the table. I'm going to go straight across and psh, like that. I feel like I'm painting left-handed. I'm just so weird for me right now. All right. I'm taking my big brush and I'm going to color in my ghost white. See now why I did a gray background? So I can go up, get rid of some of that line by painting over it. Now it's probably a dumb move to do the stem first because I'm going to have to go in there with a smaller brush now. Get as close as I can to it and I'll worry about the rest later. Okay, I'll go in with the smaller brush in a second. So, there's your ghost. You can change your shape if you want. Maybe you want it to come that way a bit. All right, let's get this little brush. Got an angle brush here. I'm gonna go around. I'm gonna go around here. See, you learn your mistakes. So the next time I would do this, I wouldn't put the stem on first. But it works out. There you go. All done. No harm, no foul. Just smooth that paint out a little bit. Maybe the oh, ghost comes down a bit like that. Maybe I want to get rid of some of that line. There. Nice. Okay. So maybe we'll paint the pumpkin orange before we go into the cat. So we have the yellow. Um, and one thing I found about doing pumpkins, and you've probably done some pumpkins with me, I like to make it really messy. So if it's really messy, um, you leave it messy on your palette, it'll be messy on your brush. It'll also get messy as you put it on. Then you won't have to try to get all those really cool orange and yellow shades. So, um, yeah, I only need it for this one. So Start with just a tiny bit of red, not a whole bunch, and mix it in with your orange. Just on one side, leave some of your leave some of your uh, yellow plain in case you want to do it again. Now look how messy that is. I didn't really blend it. It's just messy. So if it's messy there, I'm going to take a messy blob, and it might be a bit red, but that's okay. I'll fix it in a minute. So I'm going to go down. into my pumpkin and I'm going to cover up some of that black if I can. But you see how yellow is a transparent color and I went over the black but you can't even tell because there's no white behind it. So I'm going to take a little more yellow and put it in the mixture so it's changing the color but again it's really messy on there. So I'm going to pick that up and I'm going to go to the next segment and I'm going to go in. There you go. Covered up the black a little bit. Then grab another messy, another messy thing and carry on. Just do the same thing all the way around your pumpkin. Don't blend it too much when you put it on here. And it's going to look really cool. Every segment gets kind of a different shade, a mix of orange, just leaving part of that black there, just so you can see your segments. And I obviously put way too much paint on my palette. Okay, so that to me is a bit too yellow. So I'm going to dip straight into the red and get a little bit of red on there and I can streak in some red because my paint is really thick.
There. Done. That's it for your pumpkin. Cat. Ooh. The cat is going to be super stinking cute. I'm going to use my little round brush with the black and I'm going to draw him out for you guys. So he's going to be beside the pumpkin. Maybe not. <laughs> okay. He's going to be like, here's his neck. Just trust me. Great long neck. You know, his shoulders are going to come down like this. It's a cartoon cat. So it's not supposed to be perfect. Just trust me. It's going to be weird, but stink, still cute. So he comes down like this. Curl him in a little bit. around It kind of looks like a wishbone right now. Curl in a little bit. Gonna, maybe he'll sit down a little lower too. Okay. Definitely sit down a little lower. Bring it out a little wider. Oh good, it's behind the pumpkin a bit. Always start small and you go a little bigger. See, now they're both sitting down a little bit. Excellent. Um, tail. Do a little curl this way. There's his tail. We'll get that filled in a little bit better. Um, <clears throat> and then, <laughs> oh, I can see this in my head. Um, this neck is a little bit too long, but we're going to do this. And then make his neck just a little fatter, but not too much. I like this long, skinny neck. Right here where this came up a little bit, draw a big circle. Draw a circle. Color that in. And then you're going to give him some weird ears. So the ears going to go like this. I know, that looks funny, right? The cartoon cat. Now, here's the fun part. Here's his weird face. So it's a little shorter here, it gets a little longer towards the top. So, it, but they're like hairs. Longer on the top ones. And then shorter as it gets there. Cartoon cat, guys. I know they don't look like this. All right. Now I'm going to fill in his body. Maybe give it a little shoulder there. Maybe he needs like a little shoulder here. Because of where the, where the feet go. Still just using my round brush. But it has to like join. Okay. It looks kind of like a guitar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Toe in his tail. Yeah, I think I liked him round better. <laughs> ah, it's hilarious. Okay, so uh, well, we're letting that dry because we have to put some eyes on. I'm going to make his face just a little wider. And you can make him like hairier if you want. My water's going to be in my way. Um, if you want, take your little brush and then you can just kind of like fluff him up a little bit on the sides. You can do that. Just make sure that there's not a whole lot of paint on his face there because we're trying to make that dry so that we can put the eyes in. My white's probably not dry either because uh, I'm not using a blow dryer, but 
I'm gonna make this a happy ghost, so ovals. Whatever expression you want on him, you can have a mouth like, oh, or you can just give him a little smile. So you can give him a little smile like that if you want, or you can do another circle like he's going, ooh. That's up to you. You can throw in some bats. I mean, it's Halloween. Throw them all in there. And a couple of bats. And bats are kind of like, they got the little jagged ends. Kind of like triangles. Bats. Bats. Spider webs. That I think we should use either a palette knife or a credit card or something. A piece of hard cardboard. Do I have anything kicking around here? Do I? Do I? Mm. Let's see what I got. I got my, I got my notepad. Let's try this. I'm going to take a piece of my note card. I don't need the whole thing. So I'm just taking a piece of cardboard. It's got a nice sharp edge on it. We've got an old business card or something. Um, I'm going to, oh, and of course, because I've got mine in this little tray. I've got mine in a little tray. I can't dip this, but if I had it flat, I could dip it straight into that. But I've got these little divots, so I'm going to have to paint my edge. So I'm just going to paint, put some paint on the edge of this. And I have to do that a couple of different spots. So we're going to draw uh, like a big uh, here. Oh, that's pretty straight. <laughs> paint it again. If you had a palette knife, you could just dip the side of it in. And then do the same thing here too. So I'm going to do that one across. And then we'll do it. We'll cut it like a pie shape. I should be dipping this again. I don't know. Make sure that your lines all meet in the center. Take that around. It's going to kind of be a spider web. So that's a spider web. Is Can you see that effect? And then you're just going to take... Um, Try to be real careful with your brush, but you're going to do a little, it's going to, sorry, it's going to dip in here, dip in, and dip in, and dip in. It can get really thick in a hurry. I'm on a weird angle here. Inside of each one of these, you kind of go in a little bit. So if you push harder, it's going to get thicker. And then do a second one. Roll my brush around. I'm touching my bats. <laughs> um, just go. There, spider web. Okay. So if you wanted to have like a little spider collar down, you can draw your little spider. I don't like spiders. I'm not doing a spider. Um, this needs a touch up for one, make it creepy again. And then you can do that curly kiwi thing. So you just go here and zoom around like that because they have those, right? So we can give the pumpkin a face if we want or just leave it as a pumpkin. This guy is getting, um, I'm going to give him a nose. And it's going to be really, it's really wet right now, so I'm using thicker paint. And I'm going to give him a big eye here. See how it's mixing with my paint? Just okay. I don't mind. You decorate your pumpkin any way you want. 
here. I'm going to make his mouth come down and go like that. If you want, you can put little lines in too. Keep your, keep your brush, roll it in the paint. Oh, I'll show you. So just roll it like that so it keeps the point. Oh, like I'm just turning and rolling that in the paint so that it keeps your point uh, nice and sharp. And you can draw little lines like this. That looks kind of cool. That does look kind of cool. So that's all there is to that one. And what else? We just have the eyes to do. But down here, I'm going to take my big brush again. And I'm going to look back to my watery gray. I'm going to take a little more black. I want this to be darker than the top, but still not black. So it's still kind of watery. It's a dark gray. And I'm going to go across here, down under my pumpkin. It's dripping down. That's cool. That's cool. I'm going to go in here, go underneath my cat. And across there, and then just mess it up. Okay, I'm taking just a bit more black and going into that mixture so it can be a little bit darker. It's a little bit darker, it's still watery. We have to give some shadow where these things are sitting, so right underneath it. Not dark enough, it's not working. Right underneath the pumpkin. Right underneath the cat. Just because of a little shadow, like they're kind of sitting on there. It's a little bigger. This, um, the, um, I'm going back with a light gray here just to smooth that out a little. I'm going to have a bunch of different stuff going on there, but just a little darker, and it's going to touch where the pumpkin is, it's going to touch where the cat is. Okay, just a little bit of a, uh, so it's not flat. I had to put a little something in there. Okay, so only thing left to do is make some green with the, the round brush. The round brush. Mine's all covered in black. So take that off and I'm going to take, this is why I left some plain yellow. This is a different yellow than I normally use. I think this is like a cadmium yellow. So I'm not quite sure whether I'll get the green that I want. It's not bad. I really wanted a, a light, limey green because I want to pop some, take some of that white, which I had way too much of anyway. There, those. That's a nice light green. It's really going to show up. Um, uh, so it's going to have these great big freaked out, scared eyes. So I'm going to do. They're going to be like long ovals here. Seriously, I gotta fix up the black a little bit, but <laughs> isn't he cute? So I want it to be really curvy here, and maybe it's scaredy cat. That is what he is. He's like a scaredy cat. <laughs> All right. Pupils. And he should have like long slits down straight up and down in his eyes. There you go. Total scaredy cat. That's all you have to do with your cat. Make him fatter if you want. This is up to you. <laughs> Guys, come on. He's cute, right? So that's that. That's that for the painting. Oh, well, folks, happy Halloween to you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm in a really strange mood today. So there is your crazy Halloween ghost, bats, cats, 
pumpkin spiders. You got it all. The only thing I'm missing is the witch. So I'm getting full of uh, Halloween now. I don't really need to do any more Halloween. I'm sure, I think maybe next time I'll just go into doing some fall stuff next week. Let's do it all about fall. Autumn crazy makeup today yeah we'll do it all about fall so i will see you guys next week i should be finished painting the carton by then and have a lot more time to spend with you so see you wednesday for the live bye for now